These are the 10 ECGs which are very important for your clinical practice and for exams. First, irregular RR interval with non-identifiable P wave. This is atrial fibrillation. Second, regular RR interval with narrow QRS and absence of P wave. This is supraventricular tachycardia. Third, PR interval is decreased with presence of delta wave. This one is WPW syndrome. Fourth, there is W pattern in the V1 and M pattern in V6. This is William or you can say left bundle branch block. Fifth, if you add the S wave in V1 plus R wave in V5 or V6, if it is more than 35, this is left ventricular hypertrophy. Sixth, there is ST elevation in 2, 3 AVF and ST depression in the lateral leads. So this one is inferior wall stemi. Seventh, there is alternating QRS complex, which is called as electrical alternance seen in cardiac tamponade. Eighth, there is PR segment depression with ST elevation in all the leads. This is pericarditis. Ninth, there is tall T and peak T, which is very commonly seen in hyperkalemia. Now I need to know from your side, what is this 10th ECG? Kindly comment below. Bye-bye. Take care.